back to another episode of Chocolate and Chit Chat. Today wouldn't be too much of a sit down with me type of video, but we're just going to discuss some of the ridiculously high prices in the supermarkets, in the farmer's market of lately. And it's like the longer the virus lasts, the higher the prices. So let's get started. episode of chocolate and chit chat thanks for joining me thanks for the support no you're not seeing wrong no nothing is wrong with your screen if you're wearing glasses you don't need to adjust them they fit, they fit in just right on your face i just decided to make a big chop because my hair was really growing long and nice i'm not complaining about that at all but as it continued to grow it got really thin, more thin and more, I, I was like, the thinner it's get, you know, it, it just wasn't right. So I just decided, today is the 14th, on the 13th, I was in a bathroom, I was like, can I just do it? Just do it. I just did it. I was like, no, this is the shortest that I could have gone. I'm sorry, I can't go shorter than that. Because even at this point, I'm like, okay, now I'll go and cut it off for the quadrillion time now. One thing I never liked about having short hair like this is the styling because there's only so much you can do. Now my hair does grow really fast, really, really fast. So I'm not complaining about that, but it's what to do. So the most I would rock is these types of hairstyles. <laughs> I just slick it down and that kind of thing. That, that is the most that I would do for this. But you guys, those of you who have been watching me for a long time, you all see how much my hair grew. You all knew how long my hair was. And after chopping it, do you all think I did a good job with the chop? And do you all think it's a bad decision to just go chop off all your long hair because it's thinning out? <sighs> Please leave in the comments what you think. Anyway, today's video we will be discussing the <sighs> inflation. The prices of food, especially now since this pandemic hit, is redonkulous. It is not just ridiculous, it is redonkulous. At in the Caribbean, well, let's put it this way, in Trinidad, it is time six to most countries, right? So to you all it will be really 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 costly and to us it is ridiculously ridiculously costly so i just want to share with you all a few of some of the ridiculous costs we have to bear but again i can some of the prices especially when coming to transportation in the area that i am in it is even higher than what it is stating because a 15 minute drive that would be and a nice long coconut stretch it's like how you'll have that nice palm stretch you have that with coconuts and it's about 30 minutes drive to get to let's say sandy granny from Payaro to sandy granny that would be about depending on how fast or how slow you drive it it would be between 15 to 20 minutes or 25 to that area and now and that ride used to be $5. Now it's $20. $20. No. And another thing. I get. Mayaro to let's say somewhere like Rio Claro. 
that is like no more but at the slowest is 15 I say yeah 15 minutes which is slowest that price now is $15 by taxi to go to Rio Claro that is ridiculous so oh it's too much so I just wanted to just leave a few prices just to show you all how badly these prices have risen and the cost of living and for some reason with the pandemic the supermarkets are even more terrible they are ridiculous there's like the worse the pandemic got is the higher the prices got my thing is without us without us the consumers you cannot survive because if we don't as i think we understand and we do appreciate the power that we have if we the consumers say to ourselves you see this this is my dollar here i work hard for this dollar so you see this dollar it's like coming up my hand because what these people do it is really ridiculous while they're pulling them pocket they're emptying minds and sooner than later me and my household will become hungry so i have the power to hold on to this and take it and use that dollar to purchase something that will feed me long term for instance you go you buy some chicken with that same money that you go in and pay so much money for right you buy some layers or something you buy one layer you will get chicken you will get egg and you will get eggs you get fire egg you see we have to think beyond this moment we have to, because we will have to function yes so let that dollar stretch and stretch wisely let that dollar bring forth more than exactly you have to make that dollar be able to bring forth so much more than you're putting out because this time around if you don't stretch every single dollar, you would be in trouble because so much of people is out of work and it's just terrible and the prices just keep going up. For instance, this is not a joke, no people. I don't like to make grocery in the area that I am living because if I go an hour and a half further from where I am living, the same thing that I would see for $20 here, I would go to the next door and see for about five or, or, or ten dollars. That is how they're ridiculous. That is how they're ridiculous. So where I am living is more like you would call a country area, but more like they consider this area the country area, right? So I guess because they think we in the so-called country I will be behind. And now it isn't so much because we have almost everything in this community. They feel they could just do it where you want because to go to anywhere you have to spend money to go unless you have your own transport. You know, so they will just kill you with prices. That is, that is how ridiculous it is. So my people, let me just share with you some of the prices of what we are facing in the Caribbean. And I show to you all also that when wherever you are watching, you find the prices are ridiculous. And you're asking yourself, but why? Because everybody know what is happening. And as I just said, we have the power to make the change. And if all of us stand together, no matter what country you're from, if every single one of us stand together and make a strong, strong statement, we're not tolerating these prices. This inflation is just over, over ridiculous. They would have no choice but to carry back down. And we don't abuse the power that we have because without us, they have nothing. Because if nobody purchases, all their goods will stay unspoiled. And when all your goods stay unspoiled, they're losing money, all that going in the bin. They don't want that. So when nothing then purchase it and they have to cut down the prices? No. Yes or no? All right. So practice using the power that we have. So let's get on with today's video. And thanks for watching another episode of Chocolate and Chip Chat. Let's go. That, let's talk about the restaurants now if you're living in the US and Canada it's times six right so you have to times this by six and this is just a rough draft of what it is actually and this is in the supermarkets simple things the cost of living is so high and what we don't realize is the power that we have to, as the consumers have because if we don't purchase these prices this pricey stuff these merchants have no other choices but to keep the prices down because they don't want their goods spoiling on them but if we keep purchasing and they will keep raising the prices because we are complaining obviously 
So we have the power and we need to start to practice that. This is transportation. It is so costly now to have your own vehicle. Now a vehicle is more or less like a convenience instead of wasting money because sometimes it's easier to just hop on a bus and go somewhere because the bus is so much cheaper than even a taxi. That is the stereotype of prices that we have to deal with in the Caribbean. A, t- a 15 minutes drive from where I am living is almost $20. That is $40 to go and come. That is craziness. And we have clothing. <sighs> clothing. I tell you. And most of the times with these clothes, when you wear it once, that is the end of it. They're not making clothes to last. And let's talk about apartment. And it varies from where you're living, what part of the area you're living, and how and, and the amount of rooms that you have. Clearly, a one bedroom in one part of the country compared to the other part, the prices is ridiculously higher than others. And ladies and gentlemen, these days, if you could plant, plant. If you could sew your clothes, sew your clothes. Whatever you could do for yourself to cut down those prices and break, keep more money in your pocket for the times that you would really need to splurge a little bit on yourself or your family, do so. But really and truly, some of these prices are really, really ridiculous. And if we as citizens make a stand and say enough is enough and not purchase this stuff, these people have no other choices but to take back down their prices and stop killing us with their ridiculously exorbitant prices that they have, that they don't need to have. They're doing that because they know we're going to purchase it anyway. So ladies and gentlemen, if you want to be a change, you have to make a change. And how we can do that? By standing together against the high prices.